Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today let's talk about sliding window. So we will look at example 1358 from Likud and this problem will involve using sliding window. So let's take a look at the problem and solve this problem together. So here is our problem and I want you to pause this video for a second and just look at the problem. So I'm going to use this example so here we have ABC ABC so we will have both left and right pointer they both point to this the first number when we are starting and our counter is just an, an array with three entries so counter 0 corresponds to the number of times we have seen the letter A so far counter 1 will be number of times we have seen B so far like so by so far I mean from left to right okay inclusive and counter 2 will be number of times we have seen letter C so far so right now when both left and right pointers are pointing to this A the first number so that means we will update counter at 0 by 1 so this is what we have now we move this right pointer to the next one so B so when you do that and we have to update this counter because we have B here now our second entry in the counter array will be 1 instead of 0 now you move this right pointer again to the right then we have counters so then we have to update the, um, the third entry in the counter array by 1 because that's corres that corresponds to C now what do you notice? we notice that all entries in counter array they are greater than 0 that means we can update our answer so so here um, so here this output is 10 so I will just say that the um, occurrence will be our output and we will and I will re return this variable as an answer so for our occurrence we have how many letters can we how many um, substring what is it so how many valid substrings can we form from here well we can have a b c that's one a b c a that's two a b c a b that's the third a b c a b c so that's fourth so from here we can have four valid substrings that satisfy this problem's constraint and so you don't so here we can actually um, speed up our algorithm so we can just say we can just calculate how many numbers are between the right pointer and our endpoint the last element on, of this array so we have we, we saw that we can form four valid substrings right so we have ABC, ABCA, ABCAB, and ABCABC. So that's four. So we have, and we can just subtract this um, last element from the position of this right pointer. So there will be six minus two, they will give you four. So we just add four to our occurrence. So there will be four. And we move this left pointer to the right. And then when you do when you move left pointer to the right, you have to subtract. So you have to subtract this guy by one. So you decrement this by one because now left pointer does not point to this. It will be pointing to B. So from B, so and then our left will be here. So from left to right, we only have B and C. We don't have A anymore. So this guy will be zero. So that's the trick to this problem. Basically, when you when all the entries are greater than zero, then you can just calculate how many valid substrings you can form. And there will be just this last element, the position of this last element, there will be just length of array. And then minus this guy, minus right pointers position. So there will be just four. Okay. And so we will move left pointer to the right and we decrement this by one now because all not all entries in counter array are greater than zero so 
we move right pointer to the right so that's what we are doing and since all entries in the counter array are greater than zero so we again do the same thing so the last element's position is just length of array so that will be six six minus that's gonna be three is gonna be uh three so four plus three is seven and then we move left pointer to the right so that's what we have here and we decrement b by one so we have one zero one now not all entries in the counter array are greater than zero so we move right pointer to the right again and here we see that all entries in the counter array are greater than zero so we do the same thing so we subtract this right pointer by the length of array so there will be just one so not six minus five is just one uh, I'm, I'm sorry so there will be six minus four the zero one two three four so there will be two so we are adding two to seven so that will get us nine so we are here and now we move the left pointer to the right again so that's what we have then we decrement this counter of C by one. So we have one, one, zero. Because not all the entries in the counter array are greater than zero. So we move right count, right pointer to the right. So that's what we just did. And so since all entries in here are greater than zero, we do the same thing. So it will be six minus five. And then you add that to this nine. So that's how you get 10. Okay, so what are the observations in this case? Basically, if all entries in the counter array are greater than one, then we move the left pointer to the right by one unit and decrement that counter at S of left by one. And then we update our occurrence by, you know, occurrence equal to occurrence plus length of array minus the right pointer. Otherwise, you just keep move the right pointer to the right. So this approach is really fast. And this approach is especially good when your array is something like this. So, you're, so you have say, I don't know, like, so you have a size of, of an array that's 1 million. And you have say, like half of them are A, almost half of them are B. And then your last element, that's your only C. So in this case, even in this case, our time complexity is just O of N and it's just length of array. And yeah, so, so anyway, that is, that is it. And let's write the code for this problem. So we have, so, so let N be the length of this string S and left, we initialize left pointer and right pointer. So left pointer, right pointer, that's zero and zero and we initialize our counter array there will be zero times three and occurrence will be zero so that's this is what we will return okay now we have to run while loop twice so while right pointer is less than n and we update our counter variable counter array so counter, in this case, I will use this, this function. So order S and write pointer, Oops. write PTR. And then we have to subtract because order of say, because our order of, I think it's A is, is 97. So when you have A, that should be at counter at the first position, counter of zero. So this, this should correspond to a counter of zero, some number. Okay, so that's why we have to subtract that by 97. And so, yeah, so we update this by one. And then we have to run another while loop inside here. And that was, that's when we have all the entries in the counter array are greater than zero. In this case, we update our occurrence 
plus equal to n minus right pointer and we have to decrement that because we have to move left pointer to the right we have to make this we have to decrement this so there will be s left pointer minus minus 97 we decrement that by one we move left pointer to the right otherwise we keep move right pointer to the right and and then we return when we exit the while loop here we return this this one should work okay all right so that's for this problem i guess for the next video i will talk more about sliding window dynamic programming greedy and try you know try there are some very difficult problem that you can you can solve using try and maybe some more graph problems okay so um thank you so much you guys for watching my video if my video helps subscribe to my youtube channel um and please like my video if, if my video helps you guys understanding this problem and i will see you guys next time thank you so much and i hope you guys have a great day